So Dan Bigger, the Wales 10, gets plenty of height on that opening kick. Matavesi, Sam Matavesi, whose brother Josh played for the Ospreys here in Wales and also played for Fiji 2. And the carry hard in the midfield by Botitu. Maybe Rory Best has done some good work in a short space of time with this Fijian forward pack. Here is Matavesi. Showing they've got plenty of power, not just those silky skills. Brilliant from Bonavolo. The offloading is magnificent. And Nea Saleva, the skipper, is in for the Fijians. And that was Fijian Thunderland. We've seen it so much over the years. And it's not just the Fijian of old, this is the exciting new breed of Fijian rugby with that key element they've always missed, a set piece. As you alluded to, Rory Best, legend of the Irish game, has been working with the Fijian rugby on their scrum. And it certainly is telling truth today. Gosh, they're going to be a scary team if they can combine a solid set piece, a reliable set piece with then that natural ability to offload. Only 10 minutes gone now. Can they get the shape right this time with Adam Beard? Good take by the British and Irish Lion. Here comes the drive. It's a really powerful, strong drive. Ryan Elias. And it's the entire Welsh meat counter that goes over the Fiji line. They busted their way through. I know Dan Bigger was looking at that sort of crossfield kick, but I don't think that's the option that you want against Fiji. Great take by Liam Williams, who a few moments ago looked like he might be leaving the pitch early. Lovely hands from Tian Basham. Just going to get you the angle now. Thanks, mate. Oh, no. The fact that he's on the ground, he didn't need to go back for a second effort. Okay, okay the tackle's been made. You've made, a, you've made an attempt on the guy who's already on the ground and made direct contact to the head of the, of the guy with force. So it's got to be great. Kieran Hardy, will he now look for some width? He does. Liam Williams gets it wide. Alex Cuthbert, can he get to the line? The power from Cuthbert. That's what he did for Wales of all. And Thomas Young gets the pot ball. But nothing doing for Wales. And the penalty will be right underneath the post. And Nick Berry might want a word here. And a little bit more than a word. A red card for a runny sow, and now it's a yellow on top of that. The player who goes off is the London Irish flanker, Albert Tuasui. Stay on the line, guys. Little conflab going on between Johnny Williams and Dan Bigger. And uh, Dick Tompkins to the left-hand side of the scrummage. And that's the way Kieran Hardy's going. No, he's going the other way. Oh, it's all been bought by Fiji. Maybe their eyes were on that triumvirate. We were in deep conversation, and Kieran Hardy, smash and grab, gets the try for Wales. They've spread themselves too thin, thinking more about the width, but it's the golden rule in rugby. You defend where the ball is. It's a little bit slow. Hardy, Lewis Reese Zambach, a get and play, has. It's bash him on the ball. Hardy, one last chance to attack, should they decide to do so and go from deep, they will. Thomas Young, Johnny Williams, Liam Williams, Cuthbert outside. Checks inside, tries to find an avenue through this BG defence, and he does see that gap. Bigger, oh, the cross kick, now it's over, Lewis Rees-Samet, brilliant, Lewis Rees-Samet will shoot away for the try. Having been denied against South Africa by that brilliant Sia Khaleesi covering tackle. Has the ball crossed the plane? Yeah, it's about crossing the plane. As I said, Nick Berry confirming Sue, I that. I need to know if, if, if the ball's crossed the plane. I, I, okay. I don't think it has. Let me Let's watch. see. I don't yes, think it has. I don't think it has. On the line, so it crosses the line of touch. Oh. Oh. So that's out then. For, for that to be play on, he's got to catch it and then land in the field of play. Oh, that is millimetres, Just hold if it anything. Down. Nick, yeah, you can see that the player, the ball has crossed the plane of touch. 
No, it's going to be no try, but let me explain why, yeah. okay? All right, so if he'd have started out and then caught the ball cleanly and then landed back in the field of play, yeah. it would have been play on. Okay. The fact that he's out, the ball's crossed the plane, he's tapped it and remained out, means that the ball is out, okay? Yeah, so right. it's going to be, yeah, going to yeah. be no try, yeah. and that's half time, mate, yeah. Here's Dan Bigger. He looks up, where's the space? He see, thinks he's seen some in that corner, and it's taken for the mark. Away they go, Fiji. This is like seven stone, isn't it? To Isuvu, the fullback. Here's the link play, and here's the opportunity for Nea Salevu. You beauty! It's wizardry from Fiji. South Sea sensuality. Just love seeing them with the ball in one hand. So casual, so comfortable. Where's that line? Where's that line? There it is! <laughs> and they're in the red zone. And it's Adam Beard who takes it. Same Mole getting a bit of drive and purchase. Now got to be a penalty. That Mole has been collapsed. Thomas Williams, now when he used the word, Halaholo's pass was poor. And now Rhysama tries to kick and they will come back for that penalty. But what a mishmash by Wales. His nickname's Ronnie. He might be getting a rock up in a minute. Guys. Yeah, it's off. We'll drag that mole in. Well, he did give that warning. Here again. Now they get in early and they get in low. And the backs join in too. Willis Halaholo's a big man. They're over the line this time, and they get it down this time. And it's that man again, Ryan Elias with the try. The coaster for the management staff of Wales. There's been highs, there's been lows, but Wales, they're staying in the fight. Equally so are Fiji. It's just the Fijian discipline when it comes close to the try line is letting them down. South Africa made some uh, superb key turnovers against Wales in their own 22. One right at the end from Stephen Kitzel, but away goes still a Lewis now for Wales. The point I was going to make was that Wales have struggled at the breakdown again here today. And here's Halaholo, and now Nick Tompkins, and there is space on the outside. Liam Williams going to hold and fix, and Cuthbert! Alex Cuthbert on his return to a Wales shirt after four years away. Uses all that horse-like strength to get into the corner. Tiptoeing down the edge of the sideline, and this is you know, this could be his real sort of USP when you think of Josh Adams, Louis Samet, lightning quick, both quite slight guys. Alex Cuthbert just brings that little bit of stature, that bit of size, he can weather those contacts. Lovely diving, scoring try. The two back sets it back for Matawala, and here's Bill Mata. He tries to lob the ball away, but he's given it to Thomas Williams, Adam Beard. Numbers Lewis. stacking up on the left-hand side Lewis for out. Wales. Let him run. Let him run. Dylan Lewis and finds some space for his fellow prop forward, Gareth Thomas. Williams again. Now Nick Tompkins. Here is Ray Samet. Ray Samet, that chip into the end goal area as he got the pace to get there before the Fijian can! Oh, that is lightning! It is race lightning! So no forward pass to be considered there, this kick this through, just so ambitious. Just getting some grounding pictures, mate, while Thank you're you, seeing mate. the kick. That looks good to me. Wheels up very, very quickly. Defensively there. This final action of this game. Vola Vola puts the kick in. All Wales have to do now is catch it and kill off the match. So maybe go the length and score a try. Why not? Halaholo. They want to keep entertaining, don't they? Fiji want to keep bashing. Still the big hits go in. Alice it's Jenkins. Here's Liam Williams. The player of the match, Matawalu tackles him. Shidi 
Tompkins! Tompkins is through. Liam Williams to his right. And the player of the match finishes with a try for Wales. It's a golden climax at the Prince of Panaday Stadium. I feel like they had a bit of a point to prove there. But Nick Tompkins, he has really stood up for me today. He was supposed to be on the bench, came in for Josh Adams at short notice, and he has certainly put up his hand for a potential start next week. Let's get the boys back behind you, yeah? It's a bit reminiscent of his first cap here in the Principality Stadium against Italy. He came through and cut through the middle like that. Um, Callum Sheedy finishes the game off, finishes Fiji off, and the final score, 38 points to 23. And Liam Williams, he looks like an exhausted man, but he'll be a happy man too to get that score in the red numbers. Uh, it was a performance that had plenty of errors, but plenty of wonderful moments as well. Wales 38, Fiji 23.